Hi right, guys, it's Charlie Tango1994 back with another YouTube video. The Citizen Band Radio Service, or CB as it's commonly called, is a type of radio communication under the category of Personal Radio Services, or PRS. As with other types of PRS, such as FRS, GMRS, MURS and LPRS, it is intended for both consumer and business use. CB is covered under Part 95 of the FCC rules. The CB radio does not require a license to operate in either the US or in Europe. CB service operates on 40 shared channels in an AM mode, FM mode or SSB. SSB offers less noise and greater range than AM mode and is usually found on higher end CB radios. SSB has two modes, upper sideband and lower sideband. You can only communicate with other SSB CB radios when in SSB mode. There is no minimum age requirements to operate a CB radio. In fact, almost anyone can use CB. According to the FCC rules, you are authorised to operate a CB station unless you are a foreign government, a representative of a foreign government or a federal government agency or the FCC has issued a cease and desist order to you and the order is still in effect. CB channels and frequencies are not assigned to any specific individual or organisation. If you're new to this channel and would like to see more CB related videos, feel free to hit the subscribe button below and watch out for new videos uploaded every Wednesday. If you enjoy my videos, don't forget to hit the like button or leave me a note in the comments section. Also, if you're new to CB radio, Watch this video through to the end to find out more about the free gift I offer to all of my subscribers. For the most part, you can operate a CB radio on all 40 channels and frequencies designated by the FCC for CB, but there are some caveats. First, you can use CB only on those 40 channels and frequencies. Channel 9 may be used only for emergencies or for travel. In addition, however, any channel can be used for emergency communications or traveller assistance. In addition, as these channels are shared, you must always give priority to emergency communications on all channels. The maximum power levels for CB operation depends on the type of signal you are transmitting. AM signals are allowed a maximum of 4 watts. SSB mode is allowed up to 12 watts. According to the FCC, you are not allowed to raise the power output of your CB unit, attach any type of power amplifier or modify the unit internally. Also, according to the FCC, you must use an FCC certified CB unit in the United States. FCC certified CB units have an FCC certified label placed on the radio by the manufacturer. CB is intended for short range local communications only but there is a way to increase range considerably by bouncing or skipping the signal off the ionosphere. This method is called shooting skip. Some CB users can skip a signal thousands of miles. The FCC prohibits attempts to communicate with CB stations over 155 miles away. However, signals can skip naturally depending on certain conditions, so it is not unusual to send or receive CB transmissions across the country or even around the world unintentionally. Because the 40 CB channels are shared with other users, some common etiquette is required. Users must never talk with another station for more than 5 minutes continually and must wait at least 1 minute before starting another communication. In the early days of CB, the FCC did require users to have a license and a call sign. While neither is any longer necessary, it is still common practice to have a call sign in the form of a pseudonym or CB handle. The FCC allows users to create their own handles. CB users also have their own lingo and codes. Ten codes are the universally accepted standard for CB transmissions in AM or FM mode while Q codes are generally used for single sideband and by skip talkers. CB radio equipment is also standard. Popular brands include Cobra, Galaxy and Uniden. Cobra is one of the most recognised and established brands of CB radio equipment in the world. There are two basic types of CB radios 
from these manufacturers, mobile, usually mounted in vehicles, and handheld, as with standard two-way radios or walkie-talkies. When purchasing a CB radio, one thing that must not be overlooked is the antenna. While antennas are often included with handheld CB radios, they are not included with mobile units and must be purchased separately. Whether it is an entry-level unit or one of the high-end, performance will depend a lot on the type of antenna purchased and where it will be mounted. Consider your options carefully before purchasing. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and as a thank you to you, particularly if you're new to CB radio or returning to it after many years, I've put together a free information series called The Beginner's Guide to CB Radio, which I'm sharing with all of my subscribers. To find out more, click the link in the top right corner now.